Let's kick things off with a fascinating find, a 1976 Bicentennial Quarter struck on a nickel planchette, graded in mean state 62 by a PCGS. This rare error happened when a blank planchette meant for Jefferson nickel was mistakenly fed into coining press for Bicentennial Quarter. The result? A quarter design struck on a smaller, thinner planchette that wasn't intended for quarter production. Such error is particularly intriguing because it marries the iconic dual date bicentennial design with unique characteristics of being struck on a nickel planchet. Only few of these bicentennial quarter errors are known to exist, making them highly sought after by collectors. The coin boasts light golden and pale lilac hues that beautifully accentuate its satiny luster. The strike is moderately well centered, with Washington's hair showing strong central detail. This incredible piece sold for $1020 at heritage auctions. Next up, we have 2005 P. West Virginia quarters that was struck on a copper planchette, a graded mean state 66 red and brown by PCGS. This quarter stands out because it was struck on a pre 1982 cent planchet made of copper alloy and weighing 3.1 grams. The Lincoln cent has had zinc interior since 1982, so this error is particularly unusual. Despite the planchet mix-up, the date and mint mark are bold and complete, and most of the bridge along the entire portrait is visible. The coin striking peach red peripheries blend into lilac, gunmetal blue and sea green centers, making it a truly unique specimen. It fetched staggering $9,000 at auction on August 16, 2024. Our next highlight is 2001 P. North Carolina State Quarter struck on a cent planchet graded in mint state 64 red by PCGS. Given that the North Carolina State Quarter is one year type, finding one struck on wrong planchet is extraordinary discovery. The centering favors the Wright brothers plane and remarkable and remarkably the entire figure of the Wilbur Wright is visible. Although the peripheral legends are partial, missing on the left side, the mint mark and most of the date are intact. Rich orange red hues dominate the coin with deep grey tones of selected high points. These rare pieces sold for $9,000 as well at heritage auctions. And finally, we have 2007D Montana State Quarter struck on a cent planchet, a graded mint state 64 red by PCGS. The Montana Quarter was only produced for a few months in 2007, making this double denomination error particularly rare. The quarter strike fully displays the date and mint mark, while the columns of the Lincoln Memorial are visible crossing Washington's cheek. Even the E pluribus from the cent undertype is visible beneath United from quarter strike. The quarter dollar inscription is partially distorted due to the unrestricted metal flow. This incredible rarity sold for $8,400. Thanks for tuning in, coin community. I hope you enjoyed exploring these incredible error quarters. These rare finds remind us that even the smallest mistakes can lead to some of the most valuable treasures in numismatics if you learned something new. Don't forget to like the video and drop a comment below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our more fascinating coin-related content. Until next time, God's willing, see you in the next video.